<laughs> Archimedes once said that if he had a lever large enough, he could move the earth. We're just hoping this lever is big enough to move one log. So when you think about doing research, the stereotype is of the white lab-coated scientist in the clean room. Well, we're sort of the opposite end of the spectrum here. We have a remote location, we have pouring rain and baking heat. It is difficult often. Mainly that's because any tropical environment to do science is hard just to start with. You have to enjoy the outdoors and physical hardship and also love the science. There's myriads of insects, including venomous and stinging insects, that you find places, especially if you're climbing into the trees. If you're trying to climb to get your research done, that just changes things in a big way. Because to get up into those trees and safely work there is, it is definitely one of the hardest physical things I've done in my life. It's a combination of brute force and then also trying to make sure you get really precise measurements. Uma das grandes dificuldades de trabalhar na floresta é a alta umidade. O, 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 o equipamento não funciona por causa da umidade, por causa do calor e, e isso muitas vezes é frequente e é muito frustrante. Well, I was uh, climbing and I came by one of these sensors that had a bolt sticking out. It sort of I didn't see the sensor and it gashed the side of my head. It might seem like a, a pretty strange experience to be dealing with a head wound on your professor in the middle of the jungle in the Amazon. But this place, so many odd, strange things happen. Not too bad. It's going to leak in there probably, but yeah. we're going to call that good. Okay. Good. I'm glad. You didn't scream. <laughs> Sometimes I do almost take it for granted. Sometimes it's just a hard day at work. But then there are other times I'll be up in a tree and I'm looking around and I suddenly just realize I can't believe this is what I do with my life. 